Hello. Thanks for being here. I am in the process of swapping RAM chips into this original pet, and I was having some trouble in doing so. So I have swapped, twisted over, changed the configuration so I can get in this better. Okay. Because I really was having trouble seeing. It's one thing also I find with, um, well, any of the pets sometimes. I mean, the, the trapdoor is fine, but there are times when it is difficult to get chips way in the back, in and out, and be able to see properly what you're doing. Okay, that's in. And that comes up okay. So the basics of what we're doing is we're taking the RAM chips, which would get the machine memory, and putting them into the screen RAM, which very quickly should tell us if there are issues with a chip. Because if the screen RAM has weird things going on, so if the chip in the screen RAM socket has weird things going on, then weird things will appear on the screen. And if it's okay, it, it doesn't mean it's okay if nothing weird happens, but it certainly is an indication of what is what. So we're getting to the point, oh, I'm just down to one more of the regular RAM chips, but I have not yet tested the RAM chips that are currently in the machine, because they too could have issues. Okay, so that comes up okay. So what I believe I have found so far out of the 14 chips that I have pulled out is the two are wonky. Here's one of them. Now this is an interesting because I'm now that I've switched sockets. We'll see what we see. Oh. Now that one comes up okay. Interesting. going to trust it yet. And this one. Is the first one. This one's actually this one of the chips that was in the screen RAM that was indeed causing, I believe, grief. Let's see. Yes. That one is definitely, totally, 100% bad. So that is over here. Now this is over here. Why is this? I'm losing track of why I put things in different places. This is another RAM chip. to come up fine. Do, do Penny knock that one? Oh, I know what that is. That's the one I had in there initially. Okay, so I'll leave that there. Now, here is the trick. I have 10 RAM chips here that uh, seem to be okay. One by one, now I'm going to take, and this is something I, oh, no, yes, no, one sec. 
I'm going to put that back in there. Ugh. I'm going to, what am I doing? I am going to put this chip, it is, it is always trouble when you do more than one thing at one time. Hello. What's going on here? Just a moment. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one chip out. And I know now, like I've got to have four in here, and I won't have four in here. So I'm going to take these four, sorry, one of them out, and I'm going to put one chip in. Meanwhile, not missing with the screen, the screen RAM chips. Oops. At least that is the plan. Hello. Okay, that's it. And then I'm going to turn this on, see if there's any vast difference. And there is not. Okay, good. And now, I'm going to take this one out. here in the same configuration as to which it came out. And I'm going to put this one. Oops. What do we got here? Put this one in. And just make sure that nothing tragic happens. Okay. Good. Good. And now this one is going to come out. I'm going to go here, and this one, oh, this one has a bit of a wonky, f there we go, a bit of a strain, which actually corresponds with what I think might be the socket trouble on the screen ram socket. Okay, so that is in. We will turn it on. Up she comes. All right. So the last RAM chip is coming out now. This does not mean that I have tested them as of yet. What it means is that these others going back in. taking the location that they were not in and that the machine still comes up and it does. Excellent. But at this moment I do want to try to load a program. Just see what happens. It may. Oh, did I rewind that? Loading Commodore. Loading Commodore.
Oh, we're already round. Yay! So that leads me to believe, because there was weird things going on before, that indeed one of these ram chips is probably a little wonky, I think. So now, I'm going to open this machine up. To turn the lights back on. And put this back here. Okay, so the machine is off. And this is the original RAM chip that was in the screen RAM location. And one by one, I'm going to introduce the four RAM chips that were It's not surprising, you know, sockets were basically meant to have a chip put in and then the chip would sit there for the next 40 years and not be messed with. Okay, so that chip does seem to come up. Excellent. back in its configuration as to where it came out of, and I will have a go. Not this one. That in. That looks to be in. Let me turn this on. And that seems to come up. Okay. Good. Back to just two to go. All right. What do we see? That one seems be okay. So if indeed there was something wrong with one of the memory chips, or you know what, I hadn't ever reseated those, I don't think. Who knows? But if, if any of them were going to be bad, the one. And what do we see? Looks good. Okay. Not to say that there can't be troubles that are intermittent. Alright, don't need the light on at this moment. Loading Commodore. Now I see a little flickering.
stuff OK. I'm going to type run. OK, I'm going to type run. And it's working. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. So for sure, there is one bad RAM chip. Absolutely, positively one. So, um, I need to find more. I do. I believe I can put them in four at a time, and I believe that is my next thing, to add RAM chips four at a time. And then that will be, let me think, it's got, good golly, is this just a 4K machine? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I shall return, I shall continue. Stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.